Welcome back guys, Katie here. I am thrilled you guys decided to drop in because as promised, I am taking you guys through one of the coolest estate sales I have been to in a very long time. This house is quite old as you can see and so much of it has been untouched over the years. The person hosting the sale who had taken ownership of the house was kind enough to let me record and give you guys a little bit of a tour of what I saw. So without further ado, let's get digging. There was so much to look at in this house. It was most recently owned by a woman I believe in her late 80s, early 90s. And prior to that, it was owned by her mother. So there was a wide assortment of items, but one of the things that caught my eye uh, was these old Hollywood pictures. It looks like they might have belonged to some different fan clubs and things like that that you would write to and they would send you these promotional photos. So I did add those to my pile. I also added these little pictures to my pile. Um, it was the type of sale where you could make a pile and then you paid one price for um, all of it collectively. So that was worked out with the seller. So what I did was I just went through and started making a pile of the items that I really liked and really wanted. It looked like someone in the house was an artist. There was a variety of oil paintings and some really beautiful beautiful pieces. Some framed, some not. This kitchen was absolutely amazing. I mean, it's like it had not been touched in just decades. The neat old green paint on the cabinets, the cabinets that went all the way up to the ceiling. It had the wonderful large kind of ceramic farmhouse sink. I'm sorry, or is that porcelain? Might be porcelain but it was really quite incredible. Um, there was just a hodgepodge items, you know, were kind of just stacked everywhere. I don't mind. These are the kinds of sales that I don't mind at all. I don't need anything to be, you know, perfectly displayed. I love the dig. There was a large basket of medicine bottles and different kinds of little old bottles. I thought those were pretty wild. and assorted glassware. I did like that white pottery piece and there was kind of like a green matte pottery piece behind it. Kind of an old avocado colored blender. Neat old stand mixer. I'm not sure what this is. I'm sure someone could tell me. Immediately, I mean, my mind goes to like it's some type of roaster, but I'm not sure because of the base. Lots of old wallpaper. I mean, even some of the ceilings were wallpapered. I did also grab this recipe box. Don't you love how that just kind of showed up in the picture? I'll show you more of that later. But then there were, you know, there was this old table and chair set that was just really wild. Kind of a green marbled set. Some little dried flower pictures. I actually did snag those. Those made their way into my pile. Some beautiful furniture pieces that were in really great shape too um, were at the sale. And then it's like they never threw away a single jar. All of the jars had been saved. Everything from canning jars to, you know, sauce jars and things like that. Everything was saved. I did grab these space saver boxes. I will actually be using those probably in crafting. It's amazing to me that they lasted this long. But I just love the little graphics on them of the snowflakes. There were a few kind of little old Christmassy things, not a whole lot, kind of more of the types of items that I'll use in, you know, different projects. Um, I did find a little old strand of lights. I loved this old magazine. This made its way into my pile. You can see the little old plastic doll. 
apply swatters. And some little old shoes. There was an old organ in the front room and a couple of other kind of older musical instruments. I don't know a whole lot about, about old instruments. But some of the things, like look at this cute little package of floral clay and see the little lady, like there's a little ballerina on it. I'm just amazed that stuff makes it through all the years like that. I mean, it's just amazing to me that it never got thrown out over the years. The graphics are absolutely adorable. I wish they made things that cute these days. But I definitely wanted to show it to you. I did grab these little cute Christmas lights. They kind of have like little flowers on them. Sorry, my camera's all over. I'm just kind of showing you guys some of the details of the house. I'm going to take you guys upstairs so you can see what that looks like. It had been mostly emptied out at this point. But if you're like me and you just like exploring, you'll enjoy this. So this room was also kind of painted that 1940s green and it had an old bed in it. It did still have beautiful hardwood floors. All of the doors have the old original hardware on them. And then they had another room that they stacked all the furniture up in that was remaining. And it was mostly just a variety of chairs. There were a few dressers. I did like that white table. I thought about that for quite a while, but my house is getting pretty full. So I did leave that behind. I hope whoever found it really enjoys it because it sure was pretty. old clawfoot bathtub. Now like I said this house was no longer being used and it was actually um, purchased and will be going through renovations so I'd love to be able to get in and see what it looks like once all the renovations are done. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. But you can tell it hasn't been used you know as far as the upstairs goes in some time. I loved that this door handle still had the little key in it, a little skeleton key inside. But it was just really interesting to see, um, like I said, really old house and so I love just kind of being nosy peeking around. It still had all of the old light fixtures, this beautiful old iron stair railing. Back downstairs there was a collection of vintage clothing. I wish I knew more about vintage clothing and unfortunately I just don't, but I mean there were still some really pretty pieces. I always like to find like the vintage, like the 1950s prom dresses or, or you know something like that. But these were more kind of casual wear items. Now down in the basement, there was this amazing old stove. Forgive the bad lighting down here. It was pretty dark, but I did find that quite interesting. I can only imagine how heavy it must be, but it was a really gorgeous piece. And the basement had some closets, which were probably for canned goods or for, you know, canning items. Here's a few of the pottery pieces I picked up. It's like a matte green pottery vase, snow marking, um, and a white vase. And then I really liked this old metal trash can. It still, you know, had the original price tag on it. I believe it was like 49 cents. Um, when it was purchased. So all of those items that you just saw, not everything you see here, but the items that you just saw, those came home with me. I always like digging just to see if I can find any silver pieces. 
Um, there was some neat old silverware, but um, nothing, nothing too spectacular. Some vintage glassware. These old drapes were beautiful. I had a moment where I considered buying these and taking them to get dry cleaned and probably actually trying to use them. Um, but I don't think they would have been long enough and I also would have been short a pair. But those were quite beautiful. I ended up getting that Poppy's paint by number that you see and also the frame. Um, I got a few other kind of silver plate pieces, some Christmas odds and ends. Um, I also got just a couple little old books and magazines, things like that. They did have some old newspapers, which were really cool. And they weren't in the best of shape, but they were still, um, they had still been, they had still been stored pretty well. They were interesting to go through and see the stories and see the different ads. There were some neat paper items. I did end up grabbing this postcard set. And I grabbed this magazine. It has all kinds of little DIY projects inside. It had some, you know, really neat ads in it. I have to show you guys these wall sconces that were still functioning, which I thought were quite amazing. Those were right over the fireplace. Some interesting books, not a ton of books. Usually you really find tons of them in old houses. There weren't a ton here, but I still had a good time looking through them. Lots of lamps, lots and lots of lamps. But this was the pile that came home with me. Um, I was really happy with it. I paid $40 for everything that you guys see here. And I think I did pretty well. I got some unique things. I have to sort kind of through it all and figure out what I'm going to do with everything. Um, I'll show you some pictures. I did end up grabbing a lot of the vintage Christmas decor because I can use that in all different kinds of crafting. This is an old mercury glass strand and those are, you know, can be valuable. I also got this really cool recipe box because I love the old recipes and as you can see some of these are handwritten. Um, some of them are typed and then some of them are done kind of scrapbook style where they were cut and put onto the card. So I have really enjoyed going through this. I also got a vintage um, Dooney and Burke purse that is in nice shape and it has all the hardware on it. And I looked these up. I mean, they maybe sell for 30 or $40. Um, not huge, but I mean, it's just a beautiful piece. I was glad that I grabbed it. And there's some more of the vintage Christmas decor. So overall, it was a great haul. I really enjoyed going through this home and I'm so thankful to the owner who allowed us to do that. I hope you guys had fun exploring with me. I hope that you guys have had a wonderful week and I hope that you're having some wonderful thrift adventures. So until we talk again, stay safe, stay healthy. Happy thrifting and make sure you like and follow. Bye-bye guys.